For more than four decades, one idea has dominated our understanding of the universe's first heartbeat, cosmic inflation. According to this theory, in the tiniest fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe expanded faster than the speed of light. Space itself ballooned outward, smoothing out any irregularities and setting the stage for everything that would follow, from the first atoms to the largest galaxies. Inflation has been the go-to explanation for why the cosmos looks the way it does, uniform on the largest scales, geometrically flat, and seeded with just the right tiny imperfections for stars and galaxies to form. But now, a new study published in Physical Review Research dares to ask a radical question. What if we don't need inflation at all? What if the universe's earliest moments can be explained without invoking a mysterious, never-observed inflaton field? This fresh approach doesn't just tweak the old model, it challenges one of cosmology's most entranced ideas. The research comes from Raúl Jiménez at ICREA in Spain, working with colleagues in Italy. Their goal was simple but bold. Revisit the assumption that inflation is the only way to explain the universe's large-scale features. Inflation has been powerful as a framework, but it comes with baggage. It depends on the existence of an inflaton, a hypothetical field that has never been detected in nature. For many scientists, this reliance on unverified ingredients has always been a little unsettling. Instead of looking outward for exotic new physics, Jimenez and his team looked inward to concepts we already know. They began with de Sitter space, a solution to Einstein's equations of general relativity first explored in the 1920s. De Sitter space describes a universe dominated by a constant energy density, a good approximation for the very early cosmos. Within this framework, they examined quantum fluctuations, tiny, random variations that are an unavoidable feature of quantum mechanics. These fluctuations naturally produce gravitational waves, ripples in space-time itself, also called tensor perturbations. Normally, we think of gravitational waves as rare events like the ones detected by LIGO in 2015 from colliding black holes. But in this model, they are far more fundamental. When the mathematics is extended to second order, these tensor perturbations generate scalar perturbations, variations in density, and it's those density variations that become the seeds of cosmic structure. Here's the striking part. This mechanism reproduces the same statistical properties that inflation was designed to explain, including the nearly scale-invariant spectrum of fluctuations seen in the cosmic microwave background, the CMB, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang. In other words, without invoking a hypothetical inflaton, the combination of general relativity and quantum mechanics naturally produces the seeds of the universe we see today. In this picture, gravitational waves aren't just background noise or occasional ripples. They are the architects of the cosmos. The researchers emphasize that their proposal doesn't introduce exotic new physics. It simply reorganizes how we use existing concepts, giving gravitational waves a starring role in the origin story of the universe. Why does this matter so much? In science, simplicity is more than elegance. It's a measure of strength. If you can explain the same observations without adding unobserved fields or particles, your theory is more economical and potentially more robust. The gravitational wave model is self-contained. No extra parameters, no hypothetical particles, just relativity and quantum mechanics working together. It also has another advantage, testability. One criticism of inflation is its adaptability. If one version fails, another can often be modified to fit the data. This flexibility makes it hard to rule out. By contrast, the gravitational wave model makes specific predictions. It should produce distinctive signatures in the polarization patterns of the CMB and in the background of primordial gravitational waves. Future measurements can confirm or refute these predictions. A model that can be proven wrong is, paradoxically, more scientifically valuable than one that can explain anything. Of course, there are challenges. Do these second-order effects truly match the precise amplitudes observed by satellites like Planck? Can they account for every feature of the CMB? 
These are open questions. And this theory enters a crowded field. Other alternatives to inflation, such as cyclic models or loop quantum cosmology, have been proposed. What sets this approach apart is that it doesn't rely on speculative new mechanisms. It re-examines what's already in the physics toolbox, asking whether overlooked features of gravitational waves could explain the same data. If gravitational waves really did see the structure of the cosmos, the implications are profound. It would mean the universe's first moments can be explained without inflation, shifting one of the most deeply rooted ideas in cosmology. The immediate next step is to test the predictions. Upcoming experiments designed to measure the CMB, such as Lightbird, SMB4, and NASA's proposed PICO mission, will search for the polarization patterns expected from primordial gravitational waves. At the same time, space-based detectors like LISA, scheduled for the 2030s, could hunt for a gravitational wave background originating from the universe's earliest times. If these signals match the model's predictions, it would mark a major shift. Inflation, long the dominant narrative, would become one possibility among others rather than the default. Gravitational waves would move from a supporting role to the central character in the story of creation. This proposal also highlights a deeper principle. Explanations that minimize assumptions are powerful. Einstein's general relativity and quantum mechanics have guided physics for a century. This model suggests they may still hold the key so the cosmos is birth without the need to invoke new physics prematurely. That said, many mysteries remain. The nature of dark matter, the cause of cosmic acceleration, and the unification of gravity with quantum theory are questions this model doesn't address. Even if it proves correct, it won't close the book on cosmology's biggest puzzles. But it does remind us that science is not static. Theories are constantly tested, refined, or replaced. Whether or not this model endures, it adds momentum to the search for grounded, testable accounts of the universe's origin. The origin of the universe remains one of science's greatest mysteries. For decades, inflation has led the story, but it rests on unproven assumptions. This new study suggests gravitational waves alone may have been enough to shape the cosmos. Simple, familiar physics, gravity, and quantum mechanics could hold the answer. So, could this new model replace inflation, or will it simply spark more debate? Either way, it's a reminder that the universe still has secrets to share and that the next big breakthrough might come not from inventing new physics, but from looking at the old physics in a new way.